In this video, I'll show you three ways to clean up an image to cut with your Cricut. For method one, we're going to be using Design Space. Simply go over here once you've opened a new project and click the Upload button. And click Upload Image, and then you will browse and find our image. Since this is a black and white image with nothing fancy, we can just click on simple and click continue. We're going to click each area that we're getting rid of. Up in the top right corner, there is zoom in and zoom out, which is very helpful, especially when working on a design like this. You just want to click each little spot. Now, unfortunately, this method does take quite a while to do. So I went ahead and I cleaned up this image off camera. Since I already have it finished, I will show you at the end when we compare all three methods. Let's say it's done for now. You're going to click continue. And then you're going to want to save it as a cut image. You click upload. Design space pros and cons. Pros, you don't need any other software or website. Just design space and you're already on it anyway. Also, you can choose the parts of the images you want. You don't have to clean up the whole thing. The cons, however, is it doesn't always clean up the best. It depends on your pictures. And it just takes so long to do. For method two, we're going to be using a website called remove.bg. So you're just going to open your browser, type in remove.bg, Right here on the home page, there's this upload button. Click on that, find your image, and this website will do all the work for you. You literally have to do nothing. And you want to go ahead and just click download. And we are going to save this one as remove so we know where it came from. But one thing I want to show you about this website that it doesn't always work for every picture. So on occasion, you will have to edit it. Of course, there are all these images and backgrounds and whatnot, but we're doing a cut image. We don't need any of that. So if you do need to clean something up, you're going to go up here to the top right and click where it says erase slash restore. Now we can zoom in. And let's just say we don't want these swirls here. So now I can go in and I can slowly very carefully try and erase these that's not easy to do oops i made a mistake now you can go up and you can click restore you can go through try to restore the problem though that's happening you're probably not even seeing it you probably won't see it until you go to upload your picture but where I'm restoring this, it's restoring the whole image, including the background. I'll show you down here a little bit more, for example. If you hit restore, it does do the background. So, editing in this program is difficult. Pros and cons of remove.bg. Pros, it's free. And it's super easy to use. As you saw, we didn't have to do anything. Cons, editing can be a pain, so be careful with that. Also, it really doesn't work on every picture. You're gonna have to play with it a little bit. For method three, and we're just gonna go up here to the top and go to lunapic.com. I'm going to go right here, right in the middle of the page, and click Upload. Find your image, click the one you want, and click Open. It'll bring this up, and right here at the top of the page, it says Transparent. We're going to click on that. This gets rid of all the background here, but we want to get rid of all this white inside, too. So, we're going here where it says Mode. We're going to change Transparent Area to Transparent Color. That has now gotten rid of everything on the inside as well. So now all you have to do is click apply and then scroll down and click save. 
and I'm going to save this to my folder. I'm just going to name it Luna so we know where we got it from. And you're done. Lunapick.com pros and cons. Pros, it's free, it's super easy to use, and there's always a live preview so you know exactly what you're doing. Cons, it doesn't work on every single picture, and it can be difficult to get rid of multiple colors if you have a complicated image. I have uploaded all three methods into Design Space so that we can compare them all together. Up first we have Design Space, which looks pretty good. We've got some pretty solid lines here. The issue I have with Design Space is it takes forever to clean up a picture, especially one that has so much detail in it. So this one took me about 18 minutes to clean up. It did take a while, but it does look good. Well, let's move on to remove.bg. If we look over at this one, there's clearly an obvious difference. It may have been the easiest one to clean up, but you can tell. Everything inside looks really chopped up. It's not looking great. Now let's hop over to Lunapic. This one's looking pretty good. Some solid lines, just like the design space one. So let's just check these out a little bit closer. All right, here is the design space one. Again, it looks really good. If we scroll down a little bit, we'll notice all those tiny spaces that we couldn't get into before. They are solid black. Let's scroll over to remove.bg. This one looks even worse up close. <laughs> this one is very chopped up. When you cut this image, you're probably going to lose a lot of little pieces. Especially like right here, these little dots. Now with remove.bg, it does work differently on different pictures. Maybe this one was just a little too complicated for it. This one, I encourage you to try the website with some different images and see what you come up with. Now over to Lunapic. Again, this one looks really good. If we scroll down a little bit, we do have a little bit of definition here. It's not solid black, but this one looks, I think, pretty dang good. Out of these three methods, which one is your favorite? I prefer Lunapic myself, but you may like something else. Let me know in the comments. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something new today, please leave me a like. If you want to see more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Have a great day.